I mean, if you're a country music fan, you're a George Strait fan. So I feel like there's a lot of country fans out there that can relate to this song. It was everything I wanted it to be, everything we tried to capture in the studio, I feel like we did. And it just, to me, sounded like radio. Hey y'all, I'm Scott McCreary, and this is the hit story of my song, Damn Straight. Damn Straight, you're killing the man, you know I've always been your biggest fan. I'm a pretty gigantic George Strait fan, I would have to say. He was my very first concert. George Strait, Reba McIntyre, Leanne Womack at the Greensboro Coliseum back when I was a kid. It's a heck of a first concert. So from then on, it was just like off to the races with George. The thing I love about Damn Straight is this is your classic country heartbreak song, all at the same time while being a tribute to George Strait. Jim Collins, Trent Tomlinson, they wrote a, a fantastic song here. These songs are getting pitched around, you know. Uh, songwriters, obviously, they want their songs cut. Luckily, they thought of me first, which is awesome. I was actually down at the beach. I was there by myself cleaning up after a hurricane. It took like a break, and I got e an email from my label, and they're like, hey, check out this song. And we're in the middle of making a record, and you're getting songs sent to you every day. A lot of good ones, a lot of great ones, but rarely one that like stops you in your tracks. And this song did that for me. I kind of had a mini freak out moment there, and sent it to my friends, sent it to my wife, sent it to my family, and they all had the same reactions. So I was like, ooh. You might be on to something. I was excited to record this one. I just love a play on words. I love when people can take a phrase and they can twist it, and Damn Straight does that so well. It's like two different meanings of the word from the beginning, when you're kind of cursing George because you can't listen to his music without thinking of your girl, your ex, and then at the end it's just like, would you take her back? Damn straight I would. Do I wish I could get her back? Just love that, and just how clever they use the song titles to where grammatically it made sense, like, in the story. Probably my favorite one is the way he uses I Hate Everything. It makes such sense that nobody even stops to think, oh man, that was another George Strait massive hit, because it just sounds like it's part of the song. But that one to me is like the most secret kind of tucked away uh, title in the song. You know you If you're gonna pay tribute to George Strait, it, you gotta have some country instruments on there. So for me, steel guitar is my go-to. It's all over George's music too, so it, it felt very appropriate. And we were even trying to pay little hints to George's songs throughout with like the instruments. Like one of the steel guitar licks, it's close, it's not totally, but it's close to like the one of the licks in the chair. Before you go in to record it, record it, everybody's in the room, all the musicians, and you're listening to the song. These studio guys in Nashville, I mean, they're playing on so many records. They hear every song that comes through, so they know what's out there at the moment. And literally everybody in the room, all the musicians kind of looked at each other at the same time and said, well, that's a hit. And for me, I'm like, I never say that stuff. Like, I don't jinx nothing. I step over the white line when I play baseball, like all that stuff. But to hear those guys say it uh, was pretty, pretty cool for me. The video was very fun to shoot. It's an easy way to shoot a video, just to do it in Nashville, everybody's here, you just get it done and, and make it happen. But this was a George Strait tribute song, right? Like, so we gotta do this in Texas. And it was like, oh, Green Hall. Like, that's where George got his start with him and Ace and the whole band and got to go down there. And it's George everywhere. Like, George pictures, George memorabilia, George swag. He's all over the place. The very beginning of the music video for me is the coolest. It was fun to shoot because I had all the cops out there just stopping traffic and people are trying to get to lunch and to dinner or whatever and it's like, oh, what the heck's going on? It was super exciting for me as a George fan to be there. Everybody that was there, like a native of, of New Braunfels and there at Green Hall, it's like, George is like family to them. It's so cool, I gotta get back there. The biggest question we always ask is, like, has George heard the song? Does he like the song? And before we put the video out there, I wanted to send it to him and just be like, hey, like, your face is all over this thing. Like, can we get your approval? And he wrote back like, oh my gosh, Love it, thank you so much, love the tribute, appreciate it. And then he actually tweeted about it too. Do you have that tweet like printed? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's at the frame shop right now for sure. I, I freaked out over that one. I have not had a song react like this in my career so far. We've been doing it coming on 11 years now. And uh, just the reaction we get in our crowds every day, people are already yelling it and the song isn't really that old, but they're screaming it back to us. On the radio charts, it's my fastest charting single of my career. I'm just taking it in. I'm enjoying the moment. I'm trying to be present and uh, not get ahead of it. Just, just enjoy it and it's been a fun ride so far.